That'll teach the imps, gum. Honored, Commander. Glad to see you back fighting for the Republic. Theron, you're looking good, son. Combat suits you. And small talk doesn't. What's the latest? Well, our base is secured and the Empire's finest are running home to their Empress. Not bad for our first battle as allies. Asina's weakened. If we retaliate now, she won't have time to recover. A solid strategy. If I know the Empress, she's already planning her next offensive. We suffered heavy losses. The survivors await your command. Malcolm and his new ally are no doubt gloating over their presumed victory. You compiled the Alliance Commander's psych profile. What is your recommendation? She is a battle-hardened champion, surrounded by allies and bolstered by her eternal fleet. Only an unexpected blow will pierce her armor. Then we will endeavor to surprise the Alliance Commander. Gather your top engineers and rally the troops. I'm coming to Ayakath. What are we looking at? The imps are holed up in their base. Defenses are heavy, but they're not equipped for a prolonged offensive. With our combined armies, we can lay siege to Asina's base and suffocate her war effort. You spied on Asina's personal files during our trip to Dromund Kos. How do we break her? Asina's a survivor. She knows when to strike and when to let her opponents dig their own graves. She's going to prey on our overconfidence. And then spring her trap right when we let our guard down. Clever Sith. Asina knows we're going to hit her base. That's where she'll spring her ambush and wipe us out. What's stopping us from making a run on the superweapon? A battalion of Imperial troops. They'd corner us before we gained access. If we want that superweapon, we have to take the base down first. What if we armed ourselves with Iocath weapons? My scouts found a stockpile nearby. Droid resistance is heavy, but if we breach the factory and grab the munitions, We'll have enough firepower to level the imp base. Ambush or not. You could have mentioned the factory sooner. You were hoping to take it for yourself, weren't you? Not at all. The factory's a secondary objective. It wasn't worth mentioning. Until now. No more secrets. Understood? Understood. Coordinate with Lana and get ready to attack the base. Theron and I will take the weapons factory. Is that what I think it is? One of Iocath's original creators. Looks like it's been dead for centuries. Well, let's hope it stays that way. Even all this time later, I can still feel the agony of its final moments. Something horrible happened here. Thanks for the nightmare, Father. All right, buddy. Let's see what you know about these weapons. What a magnificent world, even blemished by ruin. And soon it will belong to the Empire. The apparatus is almost complete. Unfortunately, the fragmented data has caused a few minor setbacks. I expect it to be fully operational within the hour. No excuses. Yes, Empress. Victory is almost upon us. Soon our enemies will lie in ruin, and glory will be restored to the Sith Empire. Jack.
I'd say that's enough firepower to give Asina a run for her money. Download every last file. We need to know how to use these weapons and how to build more of them. Give me one minute. Huh. This place used to be the super weapons control room. Looks like our crispy friend here was the last one to use it. Over a millennia ago. Search the records for any signs of what wiped them out. It looks like Iocath's creators were fighting a civil war. One side built the weapon, but something went wrong. The super weapon's more dangerous than we thought. It wiped out all life on this planet. The Sith Empire consumed all life on Nathema and Zyost. Could he be behind this weapon? That or it's what drew him here in the first place. We may never know. According to this data, it was tested on four different planets before Iocath. All successful. Over 10 trillion lives gone. This isn't a weapon. It's the apocalypse. A weapon that powerful can't be trusted with anyone, not even the Eternal Alliance. We need to find and dismantle it, piece by piece. The sooner the better. There. I've downloaded arsenal blueprints, fusion matrices, everything our army needs to gear up with the latest and greatest Iocath weaponry. Now, let's get out of here before... that happens. Commander, we need to talk. Time's short, Lana. What's on your mind? You said it yourself. How did the Empire, the Republic, and the Eternal Alliance all find the superweapon within minutes of each other? The timing's too perfect. It can't be a coincidence. Exactly. We were acting on intel from an anonymous source. And it turns out, so was the Republic. What's your point? I cross-referenced both sets of data, and they're identical. I'm confident the Empire received the same intel. Whoever tipped us off wanted everyone to clash over the superweapon. They wanted to start a galactic war. Who benefits from starting a war? Could it be Asina? Or Malcolm? We can't rule anyone out. Other top suspects include the Shroud, Darth Jadis, a rogue agent inside the Republic's Strategic Information Service. Let's not rule out Sith intelligence. The point is there are too many suspects to count. Find me a name. I'm on it, Commander. Commander, meet the Nova Strider. She's outfitted with the Iocath tech you recovered. Should be a worthy ride to help you lead our charge against the Empire. If I'd known we were exchanging gifts, I wouldn't have shown up empty-handed. Win this for the Republic, then we'll call it even. Incoming call. Empress Asina, have you called to surrender? On the contrary, Commander. While you were gallivanting across Iacath, my engineers discovered a back door into the super weapon. Once they've gained access, we will turn the weapon against you and win this war for the Empire. If there was a back door into the super weapon, why am I only hearing about it now? While you were fighting a battle, I was focused on winning the war. This isn't a game, Asina. If you activate that weapon, thousands will die. But I'll save millions of Imperials from the fury of the Eternal Fleet. Surely that's a cause worthy of sacrifice, Agent Benico. Good day, Commander. If we move quickly, we can stop Asina before she activates the super weapon. 
The walker is yours, Commander. Lead us to victory! Agent Sean, you're just in time. From this seat, I will harness the power of Iacoth's superweapon and lay waste to your eternal alliance. The last time I saw that seat, it was occupied by a dead man. Are you sure you know what you're doing? The schematics were a gift from a trusted ally. He assured me they were quite safe. I've heard enough. Stand down, Empress. Witness the last gasp of your pathetic alliance. Athena, no! It's beautiful. I see a radiant empire, infused with the Force, built by the molten gods. They're gracing me with the superweapon's power. It belongs to the Sith Empire. I've got a bad feeling about this. The gods sense your fear, Commander. No! The gates are closing! The throne is rejecting your input. You've lost your hold on the superweapon. No! I can still see it. I know what I must do. They are coming! Commander, you were right. I've awakened the gods. Nothing can stop them. Who are these gods? What did you see when you activated the throne? They are the six. They showed me the end of all things. And it was beautiful. I have to admit, I respected her. For Sith. On the bright side, that power flux knocked out the superweapon's defenses. And killed the signal that put our ships in lockdown. The Eternal Fleet's back online. It's about time! Commander, I'm detecting massive power spikes at the superweapon facility. Let me guess. That's bad. More like catastrophic. The weapon core is charging and no one's at the controls. If you don't deactivate it soon, it may obliterate the entire planet. How soon until the weapon fries Iacath? We're talking minutes. You'll never make it in time. Hold on. With the shields down, I can remotely slice into the mainframe from here. Maybe buy you enough time to manually kill the weapon at the source. Do whatever it takes. In the meantime, tell our forces to take shelter. Be safe. Both of you. You too, Commander. Eternal Fleet, move into position and charge all forward batteries. It's time to knock out a super weapon. Theron, I've reached the super weapon facility. How do I shut it down? You need to interface with the main controls. Look for a throne, take a seat, and hope for the best. I've seen two thrones on Iacath, and both were occupied by dead bodies. I don't want to be the third. A scene of cut corners, but you'll be sitting on the real deal. Let's hope that's good enough. Time's running out! Hurry!
Where am I? Who are you? I am rage, molten fury, your god, and your destroyer. It's you, isn't it? You're the super weapon everyone's fighting over. I am one of six. Show me your rage. I didn't come here to be poked and prodded. You had no choice. You were lured here. Blinded by duty. Distracted by trust. You did not see the blade to your neck. The rage in your shadow. The traitor. This is all a trick to get my blood boiling. Rage feeds on truth. The betrayer lured you to Iotaf, igniting war, sparked the engines of rage, envy, passion, hate, sorrow. The betrayer now offers you sacrifice pride. You for the six gods. This doesn't have to end in violence. Calm down and let's talk this through. There is only rage. Don't worry, Commander. You're safe. I found the super weapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. I almost had to stuff a sock in your mouth. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long and the Titan may destroy us all. The droid was obsessed with rage. If we're going to destroy it, we may need to keep it calm or push it over the edge. That's good to know. We need every advantage we can get. Too bad the droid's the least of our worries. Someone sabotaged the throne while you were plugged in. Any chance you saw them? No. But the droid said it was the same person who lured us to Iokath. Someone close to me. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? The Supreme Commander might be angry that I cut ties with the Republic. Maybe this is payback. I wouldn't put it past him. Why stop with Malcolm? If we're tallying suspects, we have to consider Aiko, Vizsla, Satil, and the entire Alliance army. Not to mention Lana. And hell, even me. Whoever it is, I want them rooted out quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't. But the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone, even Theron and myself. 
It's the only way to flush out the traitor. I won't let one traitor turn me against my followers. They've earned my trust. I'm glad someone hasn't lost their mind. Trust is a risk. Now more than ever. Commander! I knew you'd pull through, and back in fighting shape, no less. I hope you're ready to return to the front lines. Someone stabbed me in the back. Was it you? This is absurd. Answer the question. We're in this together. If there was bad blood between us, I'd tell you. To your face. I'll be the judge of that. You judge all you want. In the meantime, we've still got a war to fight. You won a major victory by neutralizing Messina, but the Empire refuses to surrender. They're still fighting tooth and nail for control of Iocath. They're still desperate to claim the superweapon. If we take it first, they'll have no choice but to surrender. Then that's where we set our sights. But we can't stop there. We need to keep hammering the Empire. Day by day, hour by hour. Only then will we win this war. Now if you'll excuse me, the battlefield's calling my name. I'll see you on the front lines. We'll track his movements, see what he's hiding. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all. <laughs>